In this course, it is important to distinguish between a movement along the demand curve and a shift of the demand curve. When there is a price change, say the price of oil drops from $55 a barrel to $20 a barrel, as we have seen, more oil will be demanded. When we move from this point down here to this point because the price has dropped, we have moved along the demand curve. If the price was originally $5 and rises to $20, we have moved along the demand curve from the price of $5 per barrel to a price of $20 per barrel. A movement along the demand curve is changes in the quantity demanded in response to changes in price. In contrast, to a movement along the demand curve, we can also have a movement of the demand curve. If demand increases, the demand curve itself can shift to the right. This means that at any point on the old demand curve, at any price, more is demanded. And to sell any given quantity, you will have to pay more. An increase in demand could be caused by many things. We'll look at them later in the chapter. Another shift of the demand curve could be a decrease in demand. At each price, people are willing to buy less of a good. And to sell the same amount of a good, you have to lower the price. A movement along the demand curve is changes in quantity demanded in response to changes in price. A shifting of the demand curve is when the demand curve itself moves and at any price the quantity demanded changes. Demand can be shifted for a variety of reasons that you can read about in this chapter. It could be because people are richer. If people are richer, they will buy more of products. It could be that population grows. Imagine if the population of the area doubled. There would be twice as much demand for gasoline at any given price. Another potential way that demand can shift is changes in taste. In earlier 2018, I believe Kylie Jenner posted on Instagram something about the fact that she didn't open the Snapchat app anymore. Four days later, Snapchat posted a $1.4 billion loss. Was that entire loss caused by Kylie Jenner? Probably not, but part of it almost certainly was. Tastes can move the demand curve. It's why Instagram companies hire Instagram influencers and why advertising campaigns exist. Because tastes can change. If something becomes popular, for any given price, the demand for the product will increase. This is an increase in demand. At any given price, the quantity demanded will increase when something is popular. Imagine, for instance, in mid-2017, the strange craze of fidget spinners. Fidget spinners existed before 2017, but the quantity demanded at a price of $10 or $15 quadrupled, quintupled, exploded. Then, a year later in 2018, no one demanded any fidget spinners at all. To sell the same number of fidget spinners, Companies probably would have to decrease their prices significantly. And at the old prices, almost none would sell. These are movements of the demand curve. Two other ways the demand curve could move are substitutes and complements. Imagine you enjoy drinking Coca-Cola. If the price of Coca-Cola increases. Maybe you'll buy Pepsi instead. Imagine you enjoy drinking Coca-Cola. If the price of Pepsi decreases precipitously, 
you may buy Pepsi instead of Coke. A decrease in the price of a substitute, a decrease in the price of Pepsi, will decrease demand for the other good. It will decrease demand for Coke, because now everyone's buying Pepsi. If Coke is a dollar and Pepsi is a dollar, mm -hmm. you'll probably buy your favorite of the two. But if Coke's a dollar and Pepsi's 10 cents, you'll probably buy Pepsi. Another way that this could happen is compliments. Compliments are things that go well together. Hot dogs and ketchup, milkshakes and french fries. Imagine that hot dogs were free. I bet you'd buy a lot more ketchup. Imagine that both hot dogs and hamburgers cost $1,000 a pack. I bet the demand for ketchup would decrease significantly and shift very far to the left.